If you're into saving money by refilling your one pound propane tanks at home, you may be wondering if the Flame King refillable one pound empty propane cylinder tanking kit on Amazon is worth the extra money, or should you just use the disposable tanks and buy a cheap Dozy Ant refill adapter? The answer to that question is, it depends. But I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that coming right up. Also, be sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna give away a complete refill system to one of you guys. Hey there, my name's Eric. This is my channel, East Texas Homestead. Here we talk about country living, self-sufficiency, homesteading, and a good deal about backup heat and power. If you're interested in any of those things, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. For those of you who've been around since the beginning, you know that one of my first successful videos was an awful review of the Mr. Heater Big Buddy connected to a 20 pound propane tank. Since that time, I've reviewed many products in the propane heating space, and this journey led me to start refilling these little green bottles with an inexpensive adapter. It worked great, but I'm ready to see if there's a better way. So I purchased this, and I purchased this with my own money, this is not a sponsored video. At first I thought I would do a how-to video since I've had a great success with that style of video in the past. However, there's so many of those out there already showing you how to reuse this system that I don't see a reason to do that right this minute. I've decided that I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons of both the Flame King kit and the cheap adapters. That way, you can make the best decision for how you will refill your one pound propane tanks, and you might end up doing them both. With all that out of the way, let's get started. First, let's talk about price. Right now, you can buy these little green tanks at Walmart and get a four pack for about four bucks a piece, maybe 350. In contrast, the Flame King bottles will run you 20 bucks a piece on Amazon. Now I should mention that I purchased mine at Home Depot because they were out of these on Amazon at the time and I wanted them right now. So for the tanks themselves, you're looking at a 5X premium for the Flame King bottles, not to mention the cost of the propane that you get with these, and these, are, these come empty. Beside the cylinders, you need to have the hardware to refill them. The adapters for the disposable tanks will run you between 8 and 15 bucks. The Flame King kits are quite a bit more though. Right now, the one cylinder tank with the kit cost you 50 bucks on Amazon. I picked up mine for $80 and it came with three tanks. So you can get started with the disposable tank systems for about 12 bucks. But with this, you need at least 50 bucks to get started. By the way, I'll link to all of these products in the video description below. That way you can check for current pricing to see if anything's changed if you decide to make purchase. Next, let's talk about propane capacity. From what I can tell, both tanks hold about the same amount of propane. However, when you're refilling the disposable cylinders, unless you pull the little purge valve on the side, which I don't really recommend, you'll never get them fully charged. This means that you'll need to refill them a little bit more frequently. This isn't a huge problem, but if you need to run a big buddy heater all night long to keep your family warm, or if you want to minimize the time that you have to wake up in the middle of the night to swap out the cylinders, you might want to think about this. Although in that situation, you should probably just connect to a 20 pound tank with the appropriate hose. Another thing to consider is the longevity of the tanks. Just like everything else, the more you refill it, the more you use it, the faster they wear out. The next thing to consider is safety. I've heard so many commenters on my past videos accusing me of literally killing people by teaching them how to refill these disposable tanks. To this day, I haven't had a single person show me a documented case of someone being injured, let alone killed, by refilling a disposable tank. Now that's not to say there's no risk. Always be safe and use caution when working with and around propane. With that said, one of my disposable tanks, in fact, it's this one right here, um, started leaking whenever I removed it from a Mr. Heater Big Buddy. So, I definitely recommend anytime you're gonna be filling up one of these to mitigate that risk, put those little brass caps, which will also be linked in the bottom the description, on all of your tanks. One thing to note, when using the Flame King system, you fill up the propane bottles by purging out the extra gas, and that way you can get it all the way full. So you're actually allowing propane to escape into the air, so it's not like this thing is operating inside of a vacuum. Next, let's talk about legalities. Now, I'm not giving legal advice here, so you're gonna have to be responsible for checking the laws where you live, but from what I understand, in most states in the US, 
it's entirely legal to refill both of these for home use. The big difference comes in play whenever you go to transport these cylinders on public roads. The disposable tanks state right on them, federal law prohibits transportation if refilled. Penalty of $500,000 and five years imprisonment, and that's 49 USC 5124. I don't know about you, but I would rather not spend five years in Club Fed, and that's a pretty hefty fine. I get some money from YouTube, I get some money from Amazon whenever you guys use my affiliate link, but it's not going to pay for that. The Flame King cylinders, however, have federal approval for vehicle transportation through the Department of Transportation. This is probably the biggest reason, in my opinion, for the Flame King instead of the Coleman one pound tanks. So we've started taking our Mr. Heater Big Buddy to outdoor gatherings and family events, and this has forced me to purchase more and more of these cylinders that just need to be disposed of or refilled, right? but I can't take them with me. I seriously doubt anyone's gonna have a cop check their car for refilled disposable tanks, but I'm not gonna take that risk. And this is the number one reason. Next is probably the capacity, then cost, followed by safety. If you're planning on refilling the one pound tanks, maybe once a year to use with a torch or something like that, just get the Dozian adapter that I've been recommending for years. However, if you're gonna be refilling five to 10 of these a year, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and use the Flame King system. The big exception to both of these is if you're gonna transport it. If you're gonna be taking them on the road, always go with this one. If you know you're not gonna be transporting the tanks and you're not sure how many you're gonna refill, start with the cheap system. You can always work up to the next one. After all, two is one, one is none. Whatever you do, don't keep buying and throwing away these disposable tanks.